back in my boat. That's awesome. I don't. I do believe the Paraglide is still required for this game. Um, Rocket Boots aren't, but they are the same thing as the Stealth Side. Only thing is, they actually use, well, rockets, but they are still. Well, they still get the job done. They're still basically silent. It's weird, I know. I don't understand how. I'm not complaining. Let's see, what should I do? Oh god! The Claw? Isn't that the name of, a, of the villain from Inspector Gadget? I swear to god, these guys should not have all this really crappy loot. At least, they shouldn't have it this often. It is sickening. You ready to head out for the oil fields? Should be right through this cave. Oh yeah! Billy said there'd be heavy machinery and destruction going down! Sounds like your thing. Y-E-S, yeah! We're going after some radioactive oil, right? I don't know. I can never pay attention during those slideshows. Don't tell Bentley. Wouldn't dream of it. Sly, phase one is to protect these power stations while Murray gets all six oil wells flowing. Use this Super Claw 10,000 to deal with any miners that might show up. Use the left analog stick to move the claw around. The X button will pick up and release items. Before you're spotted, why don't you pick up that rock and drop it in the pit? This is easy. You do seem quite adept. The other important feature on the 10,000 model is the throwing action. Just pick up an item and press the circle button to throw them. You can throw things quite a ways. Go ahead and hit that electric fence with one of those rocks. Are those poles on on that oil rig? That you can actually probably use a circle prompt for? Oh, circle. I think I've got the hang of it. Nice shot. Let's see you do it again. I swore I grabbed something. Face it, Bentley. I'm a natural. Hope you're right, cause it looks like the miners are on to us. Defend the power stations by using everything and anything in the oil field. This electric fence should come in especially handy for dispatching guards. Here they come! This is kind of an easy mission, but... I guess you could get overwhelmed kind of easily. It's not that hard to get to a rhythm. One thing I want to point out though, technically speaking, we never actually had an official bio for the antagonist of this this chapter, well, episode. It's interesting, there's never a world in Sly Cooper that doesn't have a main antagonist, actually. I mean, you could say the mask, the dark mask is. But we didn't get a bio for it or anything. It doesn't even seem to be a person, just like, like some sort of possessed thing. Even though it doesn't have much of a personality or backstory. And this thing I like about the villains, though, it has some sort of decent backstory. I mean, they're not just have grown in. Like, the Contessa was. She was, like, kind of ambitious. She killed her own husband, and she married him for that reason alone, to get his money and power. Nilo is, well, conniving and cowardly. Octavio is bitter and old. He's also a mafia boss. Mugshot was bullied, and he was sort of so much bitter and rage that he decided to become basically a huge bully himself. Oh, God! 
The good thing about this mission, though, is that the enemies do so little damage. Enjoying yourself, Mary. <laughs> I just had to do that. I actually wanted to see if that was possible. Check out these guns. Oh, and it brings us to this anyway. That's nice. <laughs> so, by the time this video is probably going up, it should be July 4th. I'm hoping you guys are all barbecuing and enjoying yourselves. I'm not sure what I'm going to be doing. I just know my uncle is coming and we're going to do stuff. So yeah, happy July 4th for everyone. I hope, I really do hope you guys are barbecuing. Thanks. Barbecues are awesome. We haven't done a barbecue in my house in some time because our barbecue got broken. I think my sister did something because she has a knack for messing up stuff. I did see that. Probably going to be, I think we're going to see Man of Steel. Me, my mom, and my uncle because he really wants to go see it. I've been wanting to see it for some time. My mom's been busy and won't take me. And my friends, well, none of them are really fans of it. I mean, I've been talking to them and stuff, and, you know, we're doing other things. But Man of Steel, they're not really interested in. Yeah, this is kind of a boring mission, to be honest. You're kind of just doing the same thing over and over. You could just do this, you could... Okay, let me try this again. You can do this, you can just pick up things and drop it on the miners. What if I can throw him? Oh god, where did Murray go? <laughs> you got the hell was that? Let's get that oil burning. Slide, drop the flint rock on the end of that lost plank. Hurry, you'll then jump on the end and catapult the rock to the oil wells. The sparks on impact can start a fire. Nice. Flaming gnarly death from above. Yeah. Since when did Murray become a surfer? There's rocks on this side, that's nice. Something I guess I should say is I'm, I know that at least one of you is interested in seeing my action figure collection, so I'm probably gonna do a video of it soon, because I should, we should be putting in a case in my room for my figures, because we don't want, I don't want them outside in the open. And my dad has a tendency to blunder into everything, and I'm just coming up with a massive take, I know, this video. But yeah, he has a tendency to to run into things and not really look ahead. And my mom and I are kind of worried, because a lot of my figures are expensive. Like, I got this figure of Kratos from God of War 3, Age of 47 from Him and Absolution, and Batman from The Dark Knight Return, from The Dark Knight Rises, and I have Ezio Auditory from Set Screen 2 coming in, all from Player It's Kai, which is a Japan base company headed by Square Enix. Now for phase three. With the oil wells alight, the pressure differential should draw the deep uranium enriched flowing oil to the surface. We'll need to be extremely careful in retrieving a small sample. Fly! Fly! Look at me! I'm glowing! Woo! No comment. Anyway, as I was saying, uh, Square Enix has this, has this great figure like whole Play Arts guy, and a lot of figures, like, my Kratos cost a hundred dollars because he's out of stock. And Batman in age 47 cost like 50 and 65. Ezio was also 100 because he's also out of stock. So I'm just, I would be pissed if they break. I swear, I just would not, I would just flip all my shit if that happens. And I mostly want the keys just because you're not thinking it'll close. And we have this case in my house that we can't really use because there's really no place in the house for it. I mean, we have these big ones, but the small one just doesn't work. And they figure, why the hell not? We've been trying to do it, but my mom's been putting it off. 
I don't know why. About all this time to do it. She wasn't wants out with my uncle because he's ridiculously strong. I mean, he was almost, he could probably flip my mom her car over like it was no one's business. Because I know he can love my cousin and me easily. Of her feet. He probably could pull both of us up with, with each of his hands. Kind of scary. I'm also kind of looking forward to, it, to that case because it has a build of light, so that would be cool. I think I'll make it a little bit of a Why did he fall in? Why did the hat not sink? Another problem with Sly is unlike Ben Fusi does not have an instant kill move. And it sucks. It really sucks sometimes. Cause I swear the enemies in this game, at least the flashlight guards, are a lot tougher than the flashlight guards in Band of Thieves. Next mission we have coming up is pretty awesome, if I might add. And kind of amusing in the context. If I can get, you might want to get a upgrade, a combat upgrade for Rary Bentley if, before going in, and maybe for fuck for Sly. Leave me alone! I want his loot. Batman figure out spent hours posing him. I was like, it's like I'm eight years old again. I'm watching Batman the animated series. And I was playing with my probably destroyed Batman. Alright, boys. Look tough and get angry. It's time to intimidate the locals. I'm not sure I can do it. How do you guys get angry? Find the match deep inside yourself. Light it, and let the fire burn up your guts and boil your blood! Uh, yeah, I pretty much do the same thing. Look, our goal is to drive away these miners, and we'll do whatever it takes. Listen up, dirtbags. Time to clear out. From now on, this bar is Cooper Gang turf. Tough took, wagga. But you ain't got no respect with us. We here are known around these parts for our drinking skills. And this just happens to be a lemonade bar. Sly, I'm not sure this is such a good idea. If a lemonade drinking challenge is what you had in mind, then the three of us will take on the best three lemonade drinkers you got. Hey, Dinko. Losers have to clear out. Ready, steady, go! Of course there's gonna be no problem for Murray. I'm allergic to lemons. Good thing I'm a master of button mash because I've played God of War recently. Come on! I think this is a play on beer drinking. Faster, man. Like, you know, shots and all. Yes. This game kind of does stuff like that reference. Go, go, go. Um, well, as Steve Jobs puts it, getting crap past the radar. Go! Ha, thank you, thank you. 
I think that was supposed to actually go Don't slower. Slow Look at it. Oh! Oh wow, that guy's fast! Suck it down! Guzzle, guzzle. We win! That's cheating! Why, the turtle spill more than he drank! Around here, there's only one thing we do with cheaters. Turn on the fence, Bruce! It's time we gave these cheaters a beat. A bar fight. If a game has a bar in it, there is going to be a bar fight. It's a fact of law. Probably same thing applies to movies, too. Oddly enough, shows don't really do it. This is actually pretty fun, though. The Master Thief Challenge version of this is stupid. I really hate it. You need the Diablo Fire Slam to actually complete it, I swear. Why are you not dead? God. Really? Because you have to basically be in a set time and t the clock is constantly ticking in. I think even when you're... even when... I'll show it a bit. We're not only going to be showing Bentley here, we're going to be switching Sly and Murray soon. If he would just kill them fast enough. It's supposed to be a set number, but... I do believe the clock still ticks while you're, like, in between these little transitions. Sly, you okay? It's kind of dumb. Right as rain, pal. I really just think you should be just using Murray for this, because you know Murray's more a death fighter. Great time. These are not just using Bentley, like, because you guys saw how long it took me to get a kill with him. That was ridiculous. And this is the part where I re remember. Oh wait, I have the help extractor. That would make things easier. And now we're back with Murray. Happy times. Hey! That's not fair. You got me in the slowdown. Thank God Murray just two shots everything in the game. It's very glorious. I really hate those kangaroo guys and their stupid leap attack. And I generally hate how after you hit an enemy, you sometimes can't hit them again. And they have like a completely invincible getting up attack. That's just... Why'd you aim for me when I wasn't even near you? Those guys won't be coming back here anytime soon. Um, guys, looks like they saved their big guy for last. He's wearing that freaky bad spirit mask. He must be so jacked. We should work together to take this guy down. That mask has a powerful force in it. I have no idea what he said nor why he destroyed that. I really don't. Lead him over my bob and I'll pull the trigger. Come on, buddy. Smack down. Look at him running like that. They take way too long to get ready to stun the guy, though, and they don't even help you attack him. I'd ask why it's not Murray handling this mostly. 
But then again, Sai really couldn't do much to stun him looking at it. Oh yeah, this is also what the rocket boot does. Again, it is actually completely silent. Holy crap, that did a lot. It's completely silent, just like in the in Band of Thieves. So you don't have to worry about it. What the fuck is... Wait, what's this? Ugh. Okay. Let's see if this will do anything. I don't think that really does anything, does it? And he just passed by Bentley without a crap in the world. Bob's in position. Really? You're gonna survive on one HP? Ready with a barrel. I hate it when enemies do that, that's so stupid. Finally, that guy was the mask. It's getting away? We might have cleared out this bar, but that mask is sure to keep making trouble for us. We need to destroy it. That was a decent mission. Really kind of a pain in the ass, but it's fun.